So first about the music, uh, usually when I'm writing a screenplay, uh, you hear things no, inside, uh, especially making a movie like Chico and Rita, I was almost uh, writing the screenplay on the music. But when I was uh, uh, working in this screenplay, I, I didn't hear any music. The only music that I heard was the nature and the silence and the voices, but uh, didn't take the decision yet. I say, well, maybe I, I think that now, but once the movie is made, the movie asks you for music. So I, uh, I don't take like theoretical decisions. No? I, I, I always consider the director someone who is on ser uh, al servicio de la película, on service of the movie. Yeah, the no? Uh, of the movie, N not vice versa. So uh, I, I sh did the movie, edit the movie, and then the movie didn't ask me for music. And this small piece of music, who is the, the very end of the uh, Ninth uh, Mahler s Symphony, I always thought about this precise fragment for, for the end of the movie. And the other very short thing, when they are in the the square and the musicians are playing uh, Duke Ellington Caravan. Duke Ellington and Juan Tizol, who is the composer who was uh, Puerto Rican, I think. Okay, and uh, who composed not only Caravan but Perdido. And uh, in the, when we were shooting, uh, the, it was supposed that the, the musicians were just tuning the instruments not playing anything, but because uh, shooting is so slow, they were bored waiting for camera lights and things, and they start to improvise and play just for having fun. And, and I make a sign to the camera and another to the sound engineer, and we record that without, even the people on the, in the crew didn't knew that we were shooting. And the, because I realized that caravan has, uh, had been already composed at that uh, year uh, and uh, the French people were crazy about uh, swing and American music and jazz from the very, very beginning. Louis Armstrong really started uh, to be uh, a star in France. <laughs>